I'm Wade Cravita and behind me is a new full response pumper for Montevideo, Minnesota. This is not going to be a full Monte video, it's just going to be a video on the Montevideo pumper that we just built for Montevideo, Minnesota. This truck is built on a Kenworth T370 chassis. It features our full response crew cab with seating for four and inside top mount pump controls. It has a rescue style pumper body with a thousand gallon poly tank. And inside the crew cab is a Watrous 1500 gallon per minute CSU fire pump. There's a lot to show you on this truck, so let's get going. Starting with the crew cab, you'll see that we've stretched it a fair bit just to accommodate a backboard storage which slides in to the rear of the speed lays so they can get that on either side of the truck. Ahead of those we have our speed lays which pull out on poly trays and they have top swivels in this configuration. We have the additional trays in there now because we're going to be delivering it after this video. Then down below is just some bonus storage. We also uh, provide the auto ejects in this location so they're nice and serviceable over time. On the driver's side you'll see we have a two and a half inch discharge a large diameter discharge with five inch storts, and then a six inch intake. So I'm inside the full response crew cab here and we have three rear facing seats with air bottle brackets and then one forward facing seat next to the pump panel. The pump panel is our two thirds width arrangement and it's really nicely laid out. We have legible gauges uh, arranged in an orderly fashion. All the instrumentation for our tank level, foam level, uh, push-pull controls for the discharges and then down here we have our air operated intakes we have our large diameter discharge controls and then we have a Trident auto air primer with a pre-prime on the rear intake and we have a pump boss with a knob we have our light tower control built into the panel here and then the heat and air conditioning controls for the crew cab what you might be seeing up on the back screen now is a fairly good sized monitor we have four cameras positioned on this truck so we can toggle through and get each side, the front and the rear of the truck for the pump operator to see. The interior of this crew cab is extremely spacious. It's 92 inches front to back, it's 96 inches wide inside, and it's 76 inches tall inside. On the front of the crew cab, above the rear facing seats, we have a shelf that spans between two compartments, and then we have hand lanterns mounted below that shelf and a forward facing window, so the visibility to the front and sides is excellent and then to the rear you know usually it's hard to see over the apparatus body anyway and as more customers understand that they're opting to put cameras on like this truck has now the compartments are full depth on both sides and here you can see that we've put a tool chest in the forward compartment with an adjustable shelf above that we have a fixed divider because they'll have a little giant ladder standing in front of that and then over the rear wheels we have a couple adjustable shelves and then a pull-out floor tray and another adjustable shelf. We have some equipment mounting that we're gonna do at the customer site later today when they uh, tell us where they want everything. So that's why you're seeing it in the compartment as it is. And then in the wheel well, uh, you've seen this on most of our trucks, but in this case, we have a couple extinguishers ahead of the rear wheel and three air bottles behind. So this truck has an interesting rear end on it. We have a dedicated compartment for slide-in hard suction hose with a strainer. And then above it is a cubby for a pre-attached blitz fire and a self-closing door in the wind. The door has been notched so that they can feed hose into a pre-connected blitz fire and keep it attached on the rear discharge. Now you can see that the tank has been teed down low and inboard because we have slide-in storage for a 14-foot roof, a 24-foot two-section, a 10-foot attic, and a couple pike poles. And then down below we have a pull-out tray with mounts uh, and fixtures for their rescue tools. Above that we have a cord rail because this truck does have a hydraulic generator on it, which you'll see in a minute. Moving over here, we have the six inch rear intake. We also have a direct tank fill, nice and low, so it's easy to access. And up ahead, you'll see that we have a camera mounted, a two and a half inch discharge. The um, hose bed is actually covered by a powered roll up hose bed cover. And then we have a hinged header that that shuts against with a traffic bar mounted to that. Alongside the hose bed, we provided a nice walkway so it's very easy to get to the front of the body. That's where they have a light tower, their tank stacks, generator, and then uh, a deluge and also the, well, then the hose bed behind that, of course. Okay, we're on top of the truck now and ahead of the hose bed we have a night scan light tower 
the foam and water fill stacks, and then a telescoping uh, deluge appliance. And right here is the roll-up hose bed cover. You can see that the hose bed cover slides forward automatically with the touch of a button. And it's out of the way. Tap it again and it closes shut. Now I just find it interesting when it says caution not a walk or step surface and then they put grip tape on it. So you know it kind of begs you to stand on it. And it's fairly stout. You could totally surf around on this truck if you want, but NFPA doesn't really advise that, nor do we. So anyway, these are very stout and they're reliable and we've done a few of them. And it's a great option if you're looking for a way to securely cover your hose that gets out of the way when you don't need it. You can see that the officer side of the truck is adorned with a lot more features inside the compartment. We have three adjustable tool boards in the back. We have a swing out tool board over the rear wheels. And then we have adjustable shelving and a tray for hose rolls down below with adjustable dividers. And then ahead of that, we just have a stack of poly totes, which are really handy for storage of a variety of rescue items like chain and straps. Over the rear wheels, we have a pullout compartment which carries oil dry and then behind that storage for three more air cylinders. And then finally, the officer side pump panel, like the driver's side, has a two and a half inch discharge and a large diameter discharge. Being a top mount, you can have large diameter discharges on either side where you cannot have one near the operator position. Montevideo bought a full response pumper from Custom Fire in 1998. And since then, they haven't bought another truck. This is their new one and they're excited to come back to Custom Fire for another full response pumper, and we're happy to have them back. I'm Wade Cravita from Custom Fire. We appreciate the time you take to watch these videos. If you're in the market for a new pumper, rescue, or tanker, please look us up. At Custom Fire, we're, we... Uh. Now, if you're looking for a full Monty video, video, you're not gonna get it from me but I'm just gonna do a mono video, video of this full response pumper. <laughs> I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> you can see that's more laid out for tool and rescue equipment. <sighs> now on the officer side of the body. I'm Wade Curvita from Custom Fire. We appreciate I'm Wade Curvita. <laughs> Are you sure? It's good.